Hi, my name is Stephen Wood from AtlasRFIDStore.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about what you need to know before mounting RFID antennas. I'll begin with the similarities and differences of their mounting hardware and which mounting brackets can be used with each type. Then I'll walk through mounting an antenna and talk about how an antenna's height and angle are key to covering a read zone and achieving a high level of read rates. First, there are a few different mounting options for RFID antennas. Flush mounting, adhesive, resting on a flat surface, or mounting to a wall or pole using a mounting bracket. If you decide to go with a mounting bracket to mount the antenna to a wall, doorway, pole, or tripod, there are a few different things to consider before selecting your antenna mount. Antenna mounting hardware, the right mounting bracket, such as mounting hole patterns and mounting capabilities, the ideal antenna height and angle. On the back of mountable RFID antennas, there are either integrated mounting holes used for bolting RFID antennas directly to a wall, or a set of threaded studs. Threaded studs are usually arranged in a square pattern, but vary in terms of dimensions between studs. It's necessary to know the distance between studs in order to choose a mounting bracket that will fit appropriately. The most common square patterns for RFID antennas are 66 millimeters, 75 millimeters, and 100 millimeters, where each length is the distance between studs on an X or Y plane. Mounting brackets come in a variety of sizes and shapes, but more importantly, they have a variety of mounting hole patterns and mounting capabilities. There are also weight limitations on each mounting bracket which should be considered during the selection process. Here are some common, fully articulating mounting brackets. This is the EZ-M9. The primary advantage of this mount is that it allows for quick and easy adjustments after the antenna is mounted, and both ends are fully articulating. This is the MTI MT120018. Its advantage is, although it's fully articulating, it can be firmly locked into place using the included hardware. This is the MTI MT120018-A. It's essentially the same as its sister bracket, but made to fit a smaller stud pattern. And this is the ALLPMTE. It's made exclusively to fit one type of antenna, and I've selected it primarily to show an example of a unique mounting bracket. Now, we'll take a look at each of the plates on the back side of some antennas, so you can see some different mounting patterns. For example, this is an antenna with a 100 mm stud pattern, and this mounting bracket was designed specifically to fit that arrangement. This antenna has a 66 mm stud pattern, and this mounting bracket was designed specifically to fit that arrangement. For these two mounting brackets, you can see how to easily put the bracket on because the plate and the mount align perfectly. For the EZ series, it's a little different. The EZ series antenna brackets mount on an antenna on a diagonal and fit a variety of antennas. To see an example of this bracket mounting on an antenna, check out the link in the description below. That concludes our video on what you should know before mounting RFID antennas. Be sure to watch our other videos featuring antennas in our RFID antennas playlist. Thanks for taking the time to walk through these steps with us. For more information on all things RFID, 
check out our blog, our RFID resources page, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please send us an email or give us a call.